All right, in this video, we're going to look at how to group trades together. Uh, for this exercise, we're going to use a paper account. This way, we don't uh, interfere with any of uh, the positions that we currently have open. So here we have two, uh, two trades that were filled earlier today. So both are iron condors. Uh, one is in uh, April uh, expiration cycle. The other one is in March. And uh, we can see that they're uh, both different size. And once, once these trades get filled, they are automatically populated into an allocated uh, group. And here we have uh, SPX as a ticker symbol. And if we're open, uh, we're going to see a bunch of puts and calls, both uh, long and short, which are uh, all tied to the same symbol, uh, SPX. Now, what we can do to separate the two trades, we can open the um, ticker symbol SPX. We can highlight uh, all legs which are part of the iron condor. So, for example, here I have um, my columns set to... Uh, the Greeks, Delta, uh, Gamma, Theta, Vega, and then I have uh, quantity, days to expiration, and so on. So just looking at the quantity here, I can see that I have one, or I can go and look at days. So one iron condor expires in 51 days. So I will select all options that are part of this iron condor. I'll hold down Shift. So I'll click on the very first one hold down shift and select the very last option which is part of this iron condor that will highlight all four legs I will right click this will open a sub menu I will go to uh, move to group obviously I don't have any groups that are currently set up so I'll go to add group a new window opens up I'm going to name this group S PX 16 March Iron Condor. Hit OK. Now I have a group which is called SPC instead of SPX. And I could probably go and fix this. I'm going to rename this group to SPX. Sixteen March Iron Condor. All right. Now I have another uh, position which is left in an allocated group, which is the other Iron Condor, which is April twentieth expiration, which is the Iron Condor right here. I will go to select all of the legs that are part of this trade and I will create a new group. I can add these options all or any one individual to my existing group which is the 16 March Iron Condor but that's not what I'm trying to do. What I'm trying to do is I'm trying to set up a new group for the uh, April 20th uh, expiration cycle. So I'm going to go to add new group and I'm going to call this group SPX 20 APR Iron Condor. So now if I look at my positions page, I have two groups. One is SPX 16 March Iron Condor and SPX 20 April Iron Condor. I also set up my columns here, which will show me my net Greeks for each individual group. All right, so here I have my puts, my calls, and if I want to look at my net Greeks, so for example, the 16 March Iron Condor has a net delta of minus 2 or minus 3. Gamma of minus 8, uh, theta 6.5, and, and vega minus 80. 
and then here I see my uh, PL on the day and uh, PL that is currently open. Same thing for the uh, April 20th iron condor. The, uh, if I open this up, I will see every single option which is part of this group. And then here I can see my net Greeks for this particular iron condor. So for example, when I go to uh, set up an alert for a uh, potential adjustment, say I uh, set an alert to make an adjustment when my short call option gets to 20. So for example, in um, 16 March uh, iron condor, I have a short call which is at 29.40. When that gets to about, so it, it is currently, uh, the 2940 is about 15 delta. When it gets to tw uh, delta 20 and my alert goes off, I don't need to do any more math. I'll just go here and I see my net delta for this uh, iron condor. And this net delta will tell me, uh, how I need to make an adjustment, how much of my uh, directional uh, exposure I will need to remove.